Denmark spends $150,000 to clean beach seaweed and plastic, then dumps it back in the sea. Here's a summary of the article. A municipality in Denmark has come under fire after reports that it spends more than $150,000 a year on a bulldozer that removes seaweed and plastic from the beach only to dump it back into the sea. According to Danish national broadcaster Denmark's radio, the bulldozer can be found driving up and down the Stillenge beach in the Slagelsee municipality twice a week during the summer months. A video released by Doctor appears to show the bulldozer driving a few yards into the water before dumping its contents into the sea. Not only does dumping the seaweed and plastic into the sea mean it will just quickly wash ashore again, she said, but constantly digging up the sand is also harmful for the organisms in the local ecosystem. On the contrary, it is bad for the small organisms that live between the small grains of sand that are torn through or crushed by the tractor. And of course there is far more of that than seaweed being collected. This is about one thing convenience for beachgoers. In an interview with Denmark's radio deputy mayor Willem Christensen defended the method, arguing that beachgoers want the beach to be neat and clean, like holiday destinations in southern Europe. While Christensen claimed large pieces of plastic are not dumped into the sea, he also argued that cigarette buds and other small pieces of plastic will end up there for the most part either way. This post received a score of 27,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Sounds like job security for the bulldozer and its operator. Yep repeat business is always a good idea. Bit like my dentist who gives children lollipops on the way out of his practice. See you children soon. Winking face. I always thought it was funny in the Pokemon games when Nurse Joy would say, I hope to see you again. Do you want my Pokemon to get hurt? In a world of legal pit fighting, the question is not if, but when. If she doesn't see you again, it means your Pokemon have died. From the injuries alone she can tell you've used them in animal fights. Greater than from the countless betting slips she has stashed in her desk, she can tell you've used them in animal fights. Round 3, I can feel it. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Lusts after Nurse Joy's feet inside those shoes in Brock. For those curious, it's Slagles. Goddamn it. I was just starting to let go of my stereotypes of Slagles. Am from Neustved originally, and that is quite a backwater town, but used to just know that Slagles was even worse tears of joy. How does Slagles and Nastved compare to Randers? I know they both are in Schaland and Randers in Jylland, but whenever I think of a backwater town in Denmark my mind immediately goes Randers. But that might also be because of the national stereotype with Randers, it really doesn't look that bad compared to the shithole towns we have in Sweden Emo. For reference, here's what a backwards town look like home in Varmland. I wish this was the first time a news article like this was published. Yeah, Randers has its stereotype, but Emo Slagels isn't much better. The difference is that Slagels's politicians for some reason think of the municipality as the center of the universe which it is very much not. Greater than while Christensen claimed large pieces of plastic are not dumped into the sea, he also argued that cigarette buds and other small pieces of plastic will end up there for the most part either way. Yea if you let it. I thought they would move the seaweed and plastic a while away from the beach before dumping it. But no, it's literally a bulldozer shoving things off the beaches if the tide won't bring them back to shore the next day. The seaweed and garbage is clearly moved outside of the environment. We were going to recycle all of this plastic, then the front fell off. Is that usual? Not at all. Let me reassure you, these bulldozers are built to very rigorous standards. What kind of standards? Well the front's not supposed to fall off, for a start. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.